Hello and welcome to a, a very short demonstration on how to use Spring Tool Suite versions 3.4 and higher uh, to consume our new getting started guides that are available at spring.io uh, directly within the Eclipse uh, Spring Tool Suite integrated development environment. Uh, this just takes a moment or two, it's very simple. Uh, if you, for example, would like to um, import a uh, Spring Getting Started con um, content, just right click, choose New, Import Spring uh, GS Guide and then choose uh, which one you'd like. Uh, there's a, a wide variety of them available. We've actually just launched a whole new uh, spate of them, uh, not a good nine of them, uh, in celebration of the Spring Framework 4.0 launch here. So you can see there's, there's quite a lot um, available as well as full-on tutorials. Um, so let's just choose the, the REST service and we're gonna pick whether we wanna do a build or a Maven or Gradle. Um, I also want the both the initial and complete code set and what that just means is that the uh, project uh, in its initial state uh, has everything on the class path but none of the code written for you and the complete is the full-on solution where you know all the codes written for you and of course everything's configured properly uh, so you can do the before and after um, also I can tell it to open uh, the home page in a browser um, of that actual guide uh, so I'm just gonna click finish and uh, let it do that this uh, obviously does require an internet connection, so make sure you are connected before you uh, try to download the, uh, the guides because uh, it's going directly against our servers to, to grab it. Okay, great. Uh, and then um, you'll see the, the guide itself uh, sort of pop up in a web page here. Uh, it makes it easy to, to cut and paste code if, if that's what you're looking to do, um, as well as kind of give you the instructions on how to make this um, RESTful web service uh, from the guide. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, very quickly, I'm going to go to the initial start state and uh, I'm going to create a new class um, and we'll call this the greeting class um, and click finish. Now uh, the greeting class is is fairly simple. What I'm just going to do is is cut and copy um, the, the name here, uh, the code um, in this window here just so we can don't have to watch me type at all. Um, and hopefully it'll be very quick. Um, so let's see if it, uh, yeah, it's probably not gonna like that. Let's get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Um, so now we have our greeting class. Uh, we can save that. It's a very simple data structure. It just has an ID, uh, some content, um, and some getter and setter methods, nothing fancy. So uh, now what we'll do is um, we'll set up, now that we have our data model class, um, now what we'll do is um, set up a, a controller. Um, so what we'll do is uh, right click and on again on the hello package and say new class and uh, we'll call that uh, greeting controller. Uh, this establishes a REST uh, MVC, um, Spring MVC uh, controller um, and as you, you may or may not know uh, you can just use the sort of one um, API of Spring MVC to, to serve either web pages uh, and, and a sort of use web user interface or um, these REST uh, endpoints um, all by learning just one API. Um, so great, now I've got my greeting controller class and rather than just sort of step you through writing it line by line, um, just want, you know, the tutorial here tells you that uh, it just makes sure that, um, you know, you're setting up the one or two things uh, that you actually do need to set up. Uh, we've really boiled it out to an absolute minimum. You just need to tell it what URL respond to um, and to give it a request parameter so it binds. You know, this is a very simple REST service, but it is going to take a parameter. Um, so what we'll do is uh, come down here and before making before making it executable, uh, we'll come down and, and just declare that controller. So let me just grab that code. Got a little ahead of myself here. Um, so let's come to the greeting controller. Great. Um, and save this file. And really what it does is after just having done some automatic imports, um, it, the at controller sets it up as a, as a Spring MVC application. Uh, the request mapping tells it what URLs to respond to. Uh, the response body, you know, make sure that the um, content response is appropriate. And here we've added a, a very simple ability to take a parameter uh, with a string name. And um, uh, we do that by using the at request param um, annotation. So just very simply, I can create a, a parameterized uh, RESTful web service. Um, so I'll go ahead and save that. And uh, then it just returns the greeting um, with, uh, with a count. Um, so then the last thing we need to do is just make the application executable. Um, and we're going to run this as a, so have it be a, a Java main. Um, 
and that's pretty simple. All we need to do is create an um, application.java class. So I'm just going to grab the code for that. And we'll do the same thing over here and just say new, uh, uh, new class. And we'll call that um, application.java. There we are. And uh, just to make absolutely sure I called that right, let's, let's go back up here and just triple check triple check myself yeah application.java great uh, so we'll go ahead and replace the code here and all this is doing uh, after the imports uh, I'm enabling Spring Boot's uh, auto configuration and the component scanning and just having a, a Java main method so that's it and that produces a, a, an executable jar file um, that you can can run um, uh, you know even without a web server if you need to. In this case, obviously, we, we are going to have a, a web server capability um, and the you know the dependencies are, are updated to uh, automatically for you to make sure that they support what you're looking to do uh, as well as, of course, the Spring Boot libraries. So if we want, we can just run this very quickly as a uh, Spring Boot application. So I'll say run a Spring Boot app. Uh, and then it's just going to ask for uh, what the actual Java main class is. It shouldn't actually do that, but... Uh, Clip seems to like doing it anyway. Um, and uh, that'll kick off the Spring Boot environment for us. Great, so now I'm just going to come over and run. Uh, and now that I've run it as a Spring Boot application, let's go over to the um, browser page here and pull up uh, localhost 8080 uh, greeting. And great, there's our content. Uh, our REST service is up and running. And just to um, show that it, we've also even um, parameterized it, um, I can uh, add in the parameter of my name there and it automatically updates saying, hello, Peter. Um, so congratulations. Uh, we've just developed a REST service with Spring in a little under five, six minutes um, and created a parameterized RESTful web service um, and packages an executable jar, uh, run it as a Spring Boot app, um, just basically requiring only a JVM. So very, very simple uh, to get started with these getting, uh, to get working with these getting started guides. We look forward to your feedback and uh, look forward to you using them and recommending them to your friends if you find them helpful. Thanks so much for your time. Look forward to seeing you in another uh, video.